Hi guys, I'm Ashley. So, um, I wanted to talk about why I'm single. And you know what? Being single is not a bad thing. And I don't know why people are so focused on being in a relationship. You know, sometimes, listen, I was just like this. But sometimes people become so focused on being in a relationship that they don't even mind being in bad relationships anymore because, hey, they're not alone. But I want to go down memory lane, <laughs> memory lane and tell you guys why I like being single. So. I used to be a serial dater. And when I say serial dater, I mean I used to date people nonstop. Like I always had people lined up to date me. What a world I lived in back then. Like what a life to live. But um, I, you know, I dated from 14 until I was 21. Um, not all of them are good relationships. Um, you know, I had a three year relationship where I wasn't. Uh, independent I was pretty much forced to be codependent on this person and that's a whole different video but that's I had a really big problem with you know being alone and being independent I couldn't do anything by myself I couldn't hang out with people by myself you know I just wasn't an independent woman so right after I ended that relationship I got into a um, what do you call that a uh, a rebound I got I had a rebound and so this rebound um, ended up getting me pregnant you know I also did to myself too because I wasn't being careful and you know I stayed with this person for two years now this was the last relationship where I realized hey I don't need somebody to make me happy um, because in the first time like one of the first times uh, in my dating history I realized like you know what I don't even want to date somebody who's making me unhappy. I don't understand why I'm with somebody just so I'm not alone. I am fine alone. We broke up because I just didn't love this person. And I've been single for uh, two years now. Well, technically not single like for a full two years. Um, I have had two relationships. Um, and let me tell you, let me tell you that I was not prepared. I wasn't prepared at all for the dating world as an adult. So the first person that I started uh, talking to romantically, sexually, whatever, I didn't realize that guys, um, like some guys just want to have sex with you and that's all they want from you. <laughs> I just wasn't used to it. I was used to people wanting to be in an actual relationship with me. And so the first few people that I, you know, had relations with, didn't want to actually date me um, they just wanted my vagina which you know whatever yeah I'm now I'm really sex positive I think that it's okay to go out and have sex with people back then I was pissed but that's because some people don't know how to communicate some people don't communicate to you hey I just want your vagina I don't want your heart and your vagina so that's something I guess I don't know so you know I had to learn how to date and that was a ride <laughs> So that was fun. Um, but yeah, so I, I met somebody. And for the first time in my life, the first time in my life, um, I had met somebody. And uh, we met in the summer of 2017. And I, it was like love at first sight. You know, I, I didn't believe in love at first sight because, you know, I never experienced it. But for the first time in my life, I experienced falling in love, falling in love like a first sight. I mean, not falling in love, but you know what I mean? Like, really, like, intensely attracted at first sight. Whatever you want to call whatever. So, <laughs> um, we had, like, this really beautiful summer fling, whatever, for, um, like, three weeks. And he ghosted me. And that was really hard. Um whatever and then I started you know talking to a couple other people whatever honestly I've talked to a lot of people in my single days and I don't remember all of them I mean if I really thought about it I could think about who I've talked to um, listen you can call me a whore <laughs> I think that it's okay if you're two consenting adults and you want to have sex and that's all you want to do it's it's fine as long as you just communicate about it I guess I don't know I I think that it's fine I don't understand the big hype about it whatever I'm not saying I was going out and trying like a hundred people I'm just saying I was being a girl in the dating world I might have to cut all of that out 
So a month and a half goes by and the guy that I had that beautiful summer fling with came back into my life and apologized up and down and my friends warned me against it but I was just so like stupid that I just can you know I went with it and I dated him for another like four months or something and you know what honestly like I don't regret it <laughs> But, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. It was a learning experience. But um, after that, I, I dated some more. And I came across, like, you know, some more people that I really liked. It wasn't love at first sight. Um, but it was like, I really like you. And, you know, some people didn't want to date me. Some people led me on. Um, there was some people who really liked me and I didn't like them. And, you know, can we just put a pause on everything for a second? So... I don't like, <laughs> I really, I really despise when people say, I'm such a nice guy, I have a nice car, I have a house, why won't you date me? First of all, that's not how it works. <laughs> Everybody, there's a lot of people who have nice things, I don't give a shit about your fucking car. I care about our mutual attraction, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's what differentiates, differentiates. Am I saying that right? That's what makes, you know, that's what separates friendship from romantic relationship. You know, is that chemistry? That romantic chemistry? Have you ever heard of it? I don't get that. I don't, just because somebody is nice to you, just because somebody is a nice guy or a nice girl, it doesn't mean you have to date them. And that was my biggest mistake was, oh, they like me, let me date them. You know, that's why I was a serial dater. It was because I would just always date people because they liked me and I guess I liked them too but you know I would stop liking them after a while. <laughs> now so ever since my first love experience now I literally don't like anyone. <laughs> like I literally keep telling people like no like I don't I don't want to date you. You know whatever I'll sit on <laughs> but like I don't want to I don't want you to put a ring on it no thank you. <laughs> you know and that's that's fine and I think that it's okay to be um you know, I think it's important to be open about what you're looking for and it's okay, you know, it's important to tell yourself what you want. You know, there's criteria that we all have, you know, I don't want to date somebody um, that isn't my type. For instance, I used to have a friend, I, sometimes we still talk, but it's not so much anymore. I had this friend who really liked me and he really was a really, he's a good, he's a great guy, but I don't have that romantic feeling, you know, like I don't want to date him, and so, you know, that's something that I'm really proud of myself for, you know, I'm sorry for hurting their feelings, but it's like, I don't have to date you just because you like me a lot, I don't have to date you because that's what you want, I'll date you if I want to, and you want to as well. So then I got into another relationship. I don't want to use Tinder no more. <laughs> I don't want to use Bumble. I don't want to use OkCupid. I don't want to use Tinder. I don't want. I don't want to use any of that stuff anymore because I've met up with a handful of people, and I don't like. I didn't like them, and it's just fucking <coughs> stupid. I just want to meet someone organically. <laughs> My last uh, relationship, whatever, was with this guy, and we met off of Tinder. And I didn't fall in love at first sight. I wasn't like super attracted, but I, you know, man, some people you're just like really like comfortable with, and some people like you just you're like yeah like do it. For me, <laughs> sometimes I'll like somebody, and within literally a month or less. I decide that I just no longer like them. Like my attraction just goes out the window. It just, whoa. So I don't know what to tell you if this has happened to you for me. I just, that's what happens. And um, I just like don't want to date people. I don't want to go searching for anybody. And like this is why I'm single. It's because I've finally learned that it's okay to not date people you don't want to date. It's okay to want to be alone. I think it's really important to take time away from dating to figure out what you want to do with yourself. Find out, like, what kind of hobbies you like. Figure out a better masturbating position. I don't know. Figure out how to love yourself. I'm not saying you have to love yourself to date people. I don't agree with that, and I think that it's really helpful. <laughs> 
but I don't think that it's required because sometimes it takes a really long time to love yourself. You have to break through a lot of walls and I don't think that you necessarily have to keep the wall up enough to just keep people out. You know, I think that there's some people who can help you love yourself, you know what I mean? I'm single because I want to learn how to love me um, a little better. And I think that um, it's okay to want to be single. I don't, I don't think that you need to date somebody in order to be happy because without you, without your mental health and your physical health, like you're nothing anymore. You're just a shell of a person. And I think that, I mean, you need to have some sort of level of independence and love or strong like for yourself in your life to have a healthy relationship. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do. And I think that it's a really big, important step, you know, especially for somebody like me who used to always be dating and now I never have a serious relationship anymore because I'm trying to be more picky. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what kind of people I really mesh with and what I, I want from somebody. Um, how can they, how can we benefit each other? You know, it's not, it's not necessarily how can they benefit me, but how can we benefit each other? How can we make each other's lives really beautiful? And um, some people don't understand it. Some people lose sight in that and some people date because they don't want to be alone. I, I really do understand that. I really, really do. And you know, I get it. Like, I am not um, depressed anymore. I used to be. The biggest trigger, like literally probably my only trigger to becoming severely depressed is if I'm alone for too long, you know, more than a day. For instance, if I don't see a friend for more than a day or two, I start to get really um, emotionally uh, unstable in a way. My emotions are just out of whack. Ugh. Yeah, it's not good. And I'm a social person, but that's why I think it's important to try and get out and find friends, you know, connect with your family or your friends, whatever. You don't necessarily have to go and date somebody to be happy again. I just that's my little blurb on why I'm single and I wanted to tell you guys about it you know just in case you're stuck being a serial dater you're kind of just like why am I not happy or how come I'm not finding the love of my life how about you stop dating everybody that fucking likes you <laughs> you don't have to do that um, I think that you can love yourself a little better or learn how to learn to read a book learn a learn an instrument or something I so when me and um, Love at First Sight Boy broke up, uh, I tried to learn how to play guitar. Not because he knew how to play guitar. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but like, <laughs> not entirely. I always wanted to learn how to play an instrument, but you know, I just wanna say that when I was with Mr. Guitar Man, <laughs> I was too nervous, first of all, to play guitar in front of him because he's like a rock star or something, I don't know. He was really great and I just got, you know, the nerves and all that stuff and I was also always with him so I never had, so sorry, I never had time to practice but when we broke up it gave me time, you know, alone and um, I learned how to play an instrument, I know how to play guitar, this is my, this is my, my new boyfriend. You know, that's not new, I, I learned how to play um, a year ago but. I swear I know how to play. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about writing a book. I'm thinking about um, doing some rope tying classes. I like doing poetry. Um, I'm just discovering all these new facets of myself and all these interests that I have. And I don't know, I think being alone has really taught me what I like, what makes me me because I've spent so much of my life like focusing on how to make other people happy and learning someone else that I couldn't learn about myself. I just think that that's really important to remember, you know, if you're trying to learn about dating or learning about yourself, like, that's why I'm making this video. <laughs> you're not alone, like, you know, just get out there, get, 
don't stop dating them. Don't say no to him. Say no to him and say no to her and say no to him too because you need to be alone sometimes. I think you need to just get in your bed, pull out a good fucking book and just immerse yourself with a face mask on and just live your life, pull out your bullet and have fun. All right, so that's my video. Um, like I said, you know, I'm a little new, a little old, a little bit of both, but I'm going to try and make some more videos. So subscribe to me because I'm going to make some more. I'm going to make some, uh, why I'm blank videos. Um, for instance, why I'm agnostic, why I'm not pro Trump, why I'm not this and that and that and that. So I'm just going to do it.